Waitress was on her first day of work. She was pushed to the table by the bouncer because he noticed that the wine served said 1980. No doubt the wine must have expired. Just as the girl looked disgusted with him, Wooling picked her up and walked out of the restaurant. But as soon as he got out, he was blocked by a group of killers. He saw that the girl had been tied up in a car by the killers. He then tried desperately to catch up with the car that was speeding away. Although the car was going fast, but Wooling was no slouch either. He was wearing hundreds of pounds of iron shoes. He was still able to walk as fast as he could. He soon appeared at the next intersection. The kidnappers tried to kill him by stepping on the gas, but Wooling didn't panic at all. Instead, he started sprinting straight towards the car. Then, with a dive and a sidekick, he got into the car. Even the trunk of the car was dismantled by Wooling. After realizing that this bodyguard was no ordinary person, the killers gave way and stopped the kidnapping. After this incident. The girl began to be impressed by Wu Lin. She even grew to like him, although the danger was temporarily removed. But soon Wu Lin found out that the killers were arranged by his brother. The purpose was to kidnap the girl, to extort money from his rich businessman father. Wu Lin thinks this is unconscionable. He persuades his brother not to do such a dangerous thing again. But his brother had gone mad and severed his relationship with him. For the sake of the girl's life, they went to a remote beach to hide from the chase. But he didn't know that his brother had found them in the middle of the night. Not only did he take the girl, he even set up a trap to keep him tied up. He finally pushed him into a pit and buried him alive. But under the heavy rain, Wu Lin crawled out of the mud. At this moment, he no longer chose to hold back. He picked up a hammer and removed his iron shoes, which he had worn for ten years.